guys so this is going to be the nail art we are working on today it is definitely Easter inspired we have a little chick here and on the rest of our nails they are fun polka dot girly nails and I absolutely love this tutorial I'm gonna zoom you guys in go through what I used first so the first thing I used are these little um, nail vinyls these are by Twinkle T and they are just some little chevrons. You're also going to need a bright pink. This is Sinful Colors Bikini. You're also going to need a baby pink. This is Fiji by Essie. But You're going to need a like pastel or a bright light green and this one is called Innocent by Sinful Colors. You are also going to need a pastel purple. This is Temptress by Simple Colors. You're also going to need a light yellow. This one is called Unicorn by Simple Colors. You're going to need some form of gold. I have this one by OPI. This is called Glitzerland. You are also going to need a white. This is Wet n Wild Nail Polish in French White. You're going to need a top coat. This is uh, Seche Vite. And then either you're going to need some type of orange nail polish. Um, I used acrylic paint. I also used white paint to mix with the orange to make a lighter orange. And you're going to need a light blue. I also used the white to mix with this to get a baby blue. And then if you have like a bright orange like mine, you're going to need a yellow orange to make it a little bit um, lighter. And then of course your base coat. And you're also going to need some little black rhinestones for the chick's eyes or you can use a black nail polish or black paint just to do ducks. If you are interested in learning how to do these nails then go ahead and keep watching. Okay so of course you're going to put your base coat. I've already put one as you can see my nails are super shiny but I'm going to use a cotton pad and a little bit of rubbing alcohol to remove any oils that might be on the nail itself just to prevent any peeling. Now you are going to need a baby pink and a like pale yellow. So I'm first going to start with the one that only one finger is going to be painted. So I'm going to start with the unicorn. going to paint the rest of our our fingers. The rest of our fingers are going to be baby pink. So I'm going to let these dry and then continue to build up the coats until I have a pretty opaque um, coloring. So I'll let you know how many layers it takes for each nail polish. Okay, so it took about three coats for the pink and about four for this yellow nail. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take, um, these are from Twinkled Tea. They're nail vinyls, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a pair, we're going to take two of them, and we're going to place them on our nail, and make sure you get the very corners, make sure there's no air bubbles. I'm just going to leave a teeny tiny space in between. Make sure we really press them down. Okay. Now you could take a like a nail art brush or you could take an actual polish.
Now while it's still wet, you're going to take your tweezers and just pull it back up. So again, and then you have your little egg shell. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our white nail polish or paint, if that's what you are using, and a wooden tool or a dotting stick, and we are going to place random sporadic dots on our pink nails. I try to keep the bigger ones at the top of the nail. Sorry, the, I'm out of frame at this second, but I'll show you again on another nail. Um, but the bigger ones up top, and then as we come further down the nail towards the free edge, I make the dots smaller. And you're going to repeat this with the white, the bright pink, which would be the Simple Colors Bikini, and the gold, which is OPI's Glitzerland. Okay, that's pretty much for it for those nails. You can just go ahead and top coat those and those will be done. Now we are going to work on the chick's face. Specifically right now we're going to work on the nose. Since that yellow section is dry, what I'm going to do, and sorry the camera keeps blurring in and out, but um, I'm going to take the orange paint I was that I showed in the very beginning and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow because the yellow is going to bring the brightness down a little bit and the white is going to make it more of a pastel um, instead of a bright or uh, vibrant orange because a chick's beak I don't even think a chick's beak is orange but because the nail is yellow we don't want to put like you know a weird thing so as you can see I've got my orange and my white mix it together add a little teeny tiny bit of yellow and I got a relatively okay orange um, if you have like an actual like pastel -y orange orangeish yellow then that would be great um, but I didn't so all I have was paint and you're gonna want to make the beak look like a triangle mine does not and I think that's partly because of the brush um, I tend to use thinner brushes, but I couldn't find any thinner brushes when I was making the nose. So if you have a thinner brush, use a thinner brush because that will definitely help. And so now I'm just going to take some black little rhinestones and apply it for eyes. Of course, again, since that nail is dry, I have to use a clear base coat or top coat to get them to stick. So I'm just going to put two little dots and then pick up the thing, the little black rhinestones and put them where I just put the two dots of top coat. Okay, so now we're going to take all our pastel colors. So, all of them, pink, purple, blue. Um, we're not going to use yellow because of the fact that our nails are already yellow, but green, etc. And you will notice in the video I change the blue simple colors nail polish for blue paint mixed with white paint because the Cinderella nail polish was coming off way too light it would not even show up but at this point this is what we're gonna do we're going to dot these colors on the white shell part of the egg that we made and we're just gonna randomly put dots um, I might have put way too many dots so just um, practice on my practice nail I didn't have that many dots but my practice nail was also a lot longer than this one but you will see in the video the how the blue is not showing up at all and yeah so just go ahead and do that and then I will co uh, top coat and come right back All right, now that I've done that here's the finished product I've cleaned it up and put a top coat on it now I'm just going to take some cuticle oil and apply it to the cuticles and I've got as much off as I can my nail beds are really funny and if I get way too close I'll end up removing some of the nail polish itself so if you can do a better job that's awesome um, but I'm not super duper like 
can't show like have any nail polish on my cuticle um and I don't like to put it away from my cuticle because I think I feel like it looks old um like it's grown out and stuff so I just apply it and then I remove as much as I can and if it doesn't all come off eventually with washing hands it completely comes off I know there's nothing on the screen right now but um yeah so and I've it's actually uh, March 16th and the nail polish is already off my nails um, I ended up having to cut them short so it'll be a while before I have another nail tutorial okay and that is it for this easy Easter tutorial so I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up subscribe so you don't miss any of my other nail tutorials and makeup tutorials or reviews or whatever my next videos are and go ahead and leave me some comments of what you guys are most excited about for Easter. And I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to always be kind. Love you. Mwah.